Hey guys, how's it going? It's Leon here. Today I'm going to talk to you about how INFPs express introvert intuition and also extrovert sensing as part of my series on how INFPs express all eight of the cognitive functions. And I might make references to how INFPs compare with I and FJs, INTJs. Before I move on, I want to let you know that I have a website, leonsouththerapy.com. In this case, I have an article called How Both Self-Empathy and Detachment Relieve Emotional Pain. People often think of these as completely disparate, opposite concepts, self-empathy and detachment. But I talk about here how you can combine these two to be able to relieve emotional pain. And I want you to know too that I have an Instagram page as well. And on it, I have little bits and pieces of my inspirational writing. So if you want to check both those things out, my website and also my Instagram, I have a link to both of them down below in the description section. So without further ado, let's talk about introvert intuition in the INFP. So INFPs are usually associated with extrovert intuition, but introvert intuition is actually a very strong function in the INFP. It's just not one that we value. I'm an INFP myself, by the way. And I'm going to read stuff from this really cool website, has really rich and nuanced descriptions of the types in terms of their eight cognitive functions. And I'm going to talk about how I re re relate to this. And I'm going to talk to you about my own thoughts about introvert intuition, expert sensing on the INFP. INFPs are naturally very reflective individuals who spend a lot of time in their heads, thinking about long-term consequences of their actions. Usually, they're able to get a sense of where events are likely to go with little concrete evidence and tend to be aware of fatalistic outcomes. So as an INFP, you might be like, what? I don't express introvert intuition. And that's a fair point. So if you look at Ben Vaslin's channel, he always makes this really neat point in which he talks about how this is the function in which you are a fish swimming in water and does not know that it's wet. So introvert intuition is a very strong function of the INP, but it's not one that we're very consciously aware of. It's an unconscious function, according to socionics. So we actually have this tendency. So what is introvert intuition? Introvert intuition is that tendency to be cautious, to be prudent, and to be measured. Uh, it has a wait and see approach to life. And it's a very, very reflective function that's aware or tries to be aware of potential consequences of action, especially negative ones. And that's why you see here about like, tend to be aware of fatalistic outcomes is Introvert intuition is kind of a paranoid kind of function. So it's always trying to see what could potentially go wrong. So introvert functions, they kind of have a bit of a negative slant to them. And that's what you kind of see here. So you see caution, prudence, and being measured. A lot of people associate introvert intuition with this long-term thinking in the future of what a potential vision is. And that is, you know, it's part of introvert intuition, but it's not the whole entire baggage when it comes to introvert intuition. The rest of it is this approach to life that's cautious and prudent. And you can really see it in INFPs. INFPs kind of have a really kind of restrained manner to them. INFPs try to think ahead to see where there's potential conflict or where things could potentially go wrong and try to steer clear from that. So the other thing I want to mention about is that INFPs lack a lot of physical presence, and that's due to the lack of extroverted sensing. So Expert sensing is about being very present in the moment and being able to more or less have a sense of presence in a room. So having a presence in a room that people would notice. INFPs are not like that. They kind of look like a very backdrop kind of character when it comes to if they enter into a room, people tend not to notice the INFP so much. And this is not only due to very weak extrovert sensing, but it's also due to very strong introvert intuition as well. Those two go hand in hand because the INFP spends so much time like in their head in this like very reflective state, kind of as a hermit away from the world that they kind of lack that external presence of extrovert sensing. So let me go on here. Despite this, INFPs are disposed towards keeping open possibilities rather than closing them just in case they may be wrong and may have misunderstood. 
to judge too quickly and close a window never to be opened again would be undesirable. Instead of deciding to cut people off for not being part of an intended plan, INFPs are more likely to be non-committal and allow themselves to drift away from things that disappoint them <laughs> or no longer hold their interest. With every intention of giving someone another chance should things change. So these sentences are basically apply to all expert intuiting types, all MP types, ENFPs, ENTPs, INTPs as well. It's just basically talking about a preference of expert intuition over introvert intuition. We value expert intuition, even though we're very strong at introvert intuition, and we're also strong at expert intuition too. Expert intuition is about keeping open to the possibility. So introvert intuition is about kind of narrowing the possibility and kind of a cautious approach to kind of using intuition to select where things are going to go. Expert intuition has like a more a cavalier kind of approach or just more open-minded kind of approach when it comes to things and wants to broaden the possibilities. Introvert intuition kind of goes into things a bit more tepidly and, and cautiously. INFPs, they do prefer expert intuition, like opening the possibilities up, uh, giving the benefit of the doubt, uh, not judging too quickly. We kind of let expert intuition just kind of uh, dictate us. So in in sense of this thing is capturing my attention right now, so I'm going to pursue that and this thing, but it's starting to bore me, so I'm going to drift away from that. So rather than trying to it being due to trying to close the possibilities up to follow a certain kind of direction, it's just more like we're just drifting away from one thing just because we're not interested anymore. That applies to all NP types. In their primary concern of relationships, INFPs will be most likely to apply the long-term focus to knowing where a relationship is likely to go. And using this to advise your choices on who specifically to focus on out of many fish in the sea. In this way, they readily idealize a desired relationship and can be picky over who might fit that idealism, despite giving plenty of people a chance to live up to the ideal once they have a particular person to focus on, INFPs will move on to their greater priority, the intimate exploration of everything there is to know or experience about the individual's character. In this way, they are able to go deep for the purpose of greater exploratory depth. So this is a very interesting here. So this shows how, this is showing how introvert intuition really shines in the INFP personality type. INFPs prefer expert intuition over introvert intuition. But for the sake of matters concerning introvert feeling, which is our dominant function, the thing that we favor the most, we're willing to forego expert intuition in favor of introvert intuition if introvert intuition is more likely to serve the, the needs of introvert feeling. And in this case, it has to do with relationships. I think introvert feeling is more than relationships, but uh, relationships tends to be a very feely kind of topic here. So you could see the very open approach that INFPs have kind of gets reversed when it comes to introvert feeling matters. So when introvert intuitions in service of introvert feeling, INFPs are going to push away expert intuition in favor of introvert intuition. Then you're going to see this very cautious, prudent, and measured wait and see kind of approach. But when it applies to relationships and other introvert feeling matters. So you could see this in, as it says here, picky over who might fit that idealism, right? So this is not this expert intuition, just open to the possibilities kind of thing. It's like a very particular kind of idealism, like how introvert intuition kind of hones a specific idea of things over time of how things should be in the long-term sense, and maybe does it a bit too much, like kind of feels like everything has to fit into a very particular kind of vision and not being open enough, right? And being kind of picky as a result. So INFP suddenly turned to introvert intuiting types when it comes to this. Hey guys, so now we're gonna talk about expert sensing in the INFP. Expert sensing is called force. And this concept of force, this impression of force, is not a very INFP kind of thing. And you'll find out why. So it says here, although 
greatly aware of their personal attitudes and sentiments. Anapis largely lack the ability or desire to assert their will and enforce their judgments on others. This is anathema to their accepting, chance-giving nature or in attempt to see the potential good in others and explore desirable characters. A forceful imposition of one's own attitude onto someone may be a failure to respect the humanity of the individual and the possibility they may be misunderstood. So this first part here, greatly aware of personal attitudes and sentiments. That's obviously referring to inspired feeling. So Anapis have an internal flame within themselves uh, in which they may experience a very strong conviction about things. At the same time, inspired feeling is a hidden function, right? So this part of the INP is not going to be very apparent to people at first. What's going to be apparent to people is the lack of expert sensing. So there's a lack of external forceful nature. So on the outside, they might appear to be kind of like a lack of conviction. Like INPs tend to have more of a mild uh, manner on the outside due to what I said before, there's a lack of physical presence. So there could be that strong conviction within, but it doesn't really show on the outside due to the lack of expert sensing. INPs just very... A uh, mild matter kind of people appearing kind of rather delicate. This is anathema to their accepting chance giving nature. So, this next part is about expert intuition. Expert intuition, kind of like what I've mentioned before, keeping open the possibilities and therefore being accepting, therefore being chance giving. And this has a very introverted feeling spin on it. So, an attempt to see the potential good in others, right? So, this is kind of like the INFP version of expert intuition, trying to see, see people at their most ideal. The forceful imposition of one's own attitude, this is contrasting expert sensing and introvert feeling and how it kind of does not, expert sensing does not run in a way that is in tune with how INFP looks at the world, right? Because INFPs may interpret expert sensing as not, respecting humanity, having that kind of like forceful, willful kind of nature. So let's talk about the next part here. Despite often becoming the voice of personal conscience in a community, they're naturally too naive to the competitive battle of wills to effectively fight and resist others. Frequently, they may misunderstand threats to the environment, not knowing when their disappointment with the conduct of another person or their personal reaction to an upsetting stimulus might lead to an argument or fight, often resulting in their criticism of a situation, getting them into trouble and having to remove themselves. <laughs> this, this sentence is very long, by the way. Having to remove themselves from suddenly an, unexpected, an unexpectedly aggressive vicinity. So again, this is the beginning. Voice of personal conscience and community. That's interior feeling showing up again, right? Uh, interior feeling does have that sense of like that inner flame, that inner fire, that inner conviction in it, right? But in terms of the expert sensing aspect, so introvert feeling has that, that power to it. But on the outside, um, INPs may not appear to have that kind of power because they're kind of naive to competitive battle of wills, right? So expert sensing has to do with the rough and tumble real world in which you have to kind of get your hands dirty in in order to learn from experience. And uh, maybe for the first half of their lives, INFPs may kind of naively kind of ignore this kind of world, or they might interpret it as something that is negative more than it may actually is. Expert sensing obviously has its positive aspects and negative aspects, right? And INFPs are going to be aware of the negative aspects, which are there, but they're going to be, they're going to kind of ignore the positive aspects to it or the necessary aspects of it. And INFPs are going to have a skewed negative perception of how expert sensing is like. So if someone appears to be giving orders, right, appears to be dictating something, INFPs are going to take that as being very aggressive. If someone steps into the INFPs personal space, they take that as a sign of aggression, even if it, that person did not intend that in the first place. And this has to do with INFPs valuing introvert sensing over expert sensing. So introvert sensing is about having a peaceful, harmonious kind of environment where it's conflict-free. 
And in expert sensing is the opposite of that. So expert sensing environments kind of overwhelm the INFP and INFPs prefer that introvert sensing environment. So due to that sensitivity to needing introvert sensing, whenever expert sensing shows up, INFPs may interpret that as being more aggressive and unsettling of their introvert sensing than it may actually be. And that's true of everyone's polar function. Everyone's uh, sound function tends to be kind of um, interpreted skewed in a negative direction, and people tend to overreact to their seventh function. And this is a good thing to know, to kind of keep in mind, to kind of keep everything in perspective. So the next thing here is they do not understand power play may naively expect the best of others, failing to notice the realistic pressures and forces that make a person act less than their ideal. Often sensitive souls, they will likely feel vulnerable and strained in their physical surroundings, easily becoming overwhelmed when they feel someone is invading their personal space or acting boisterously and feeling attacked when no harm was intended. So growing up, I, as an INFP, I feel like I completely ignore the power play aspect of social situations. Like that does not really fact, that did not really factor into my consciousness then. I'm more aware of it right now. So I believe that INFPs in general, they kind of may ignore the power play aspects of things, right? And as a result, they may end up, especially early in their lives, to kind of naively expect the best in others. So INFPs could kind of live in a fantasy world, like they live in a fantasy novel, and they kind of ignore the realism of the world and the experts, how expert sensing kind of plays into human dynamics. And INFPs kind of ignore that and kind of prefer to kind of live in that kind of more idealized kind of world. And this next part about being sensitive to souls, that's again, the introvert feeling showing up. They often feel vulnerable and strained in their physical surroundings. So this is that lack of expert sensing. And it subtly has to do with very strong introvert intuition because introvert intuition is very vulnerable and wary kind of function. So let's talk about the next part here. So INPs are sensitive souls that is introvert feeling expressing itself. And because they're sensitive, they often feel vulnerable and strained in their physical surroundings. So again, that is the lack of extroverted sensing, right? There's a lack of presence that INFPs have because at a very subtle level, this is actually driven by very strong introvert intuition. These introvert intuitions are very wary and cautious function. It causes the INFP to be very wary and cautious when in their physical surroundings. INFPs can quickly tire of anything requiring decisiveness in the present, tensing up when demands are placed on them to suddenly respond to a real immediate threat or crisis and will do all they can to stay out of conflicts. At the same time, they may be entirely oblivious to the fact they may come across to others as overly weak and delicate. Only on matters of conscience may they take a stand, usually to their defeat. So I believe that last sentence happens to be very, very poetic. Expert sensing, again, that rough and and tumble real world, uh, and often a very fast paced kind of world. So when INPs find themselves in a very fast paced environment, where you have to just push through things to in order to kind of make things happen, INPs could be very easily exhausted by that because their introvert sensing is threatened. And this next part about they may be entirely oblivious to the fact they may come across to others as overly weak and delicate. I don't think INFPs are unaware of this. I think INFPs could actually be very self-conscious about this aspect and how they're coming across. Actually, all the types tend to be very self-conscious about their seventh function. So for the INFP, that would be expert sensing. Hey guys, so I want to offer my own thoughts regarding expert sensing and introvert intuition regarding the INFP, while also providing other sources aside from World Social Society. First, I want to compare the INFP with the INFJ and INTJ. So INFJs and INTJs are very strong at introvert intuition, and they also value introvert intuition. INFPs, on the other hand, are very strong at introvert intuition, but don't value it. So well, how does that look like? It looks like this. INFJs and INTJs take 
inferred intuition seriously. So we might get, as INFPs, we might kind of get annoyed by that INFJ and INTJ approach using inferred intuition because they seem to really emphasize the need for caution. They emphasize the need to, um, they often give words of warning to other people about potential consequences. Like they need, need, need to point out, hey, this will likely happen in the future. Beware of this. So we don't, we don't like this beware, be cautious kind of attitude. And that's because we value expert intuition. We want to be open to the possibilities that are out there and embrace those possibilities, not come into life with a very cautious kind of approach. However, INFPs actually have this tendency in, inside of us, right? So us INFPs actually do have this intuitive tendency to be cautious, to be prudent, to be measured, just like in INTJ and INFJ would. They tend to announce and really make a point about it. Introvert intuition tends to make people into survivors. So I'll let you know what I mean by that, because I didn't, you could really see in INTJs and INFJs this this very cautious na nature that they want to be able to be aware of potential troubles and kind of evade those troubles. So it looks like they kind of carry with them that kind of anxiety about them. The thing is, INFPs actually have this nature as well. So when I look at like a group of people, a group of people kind of come together, the people with more expert sensing, they're going to make a stronger initial impression. People very strong at introvert intuition are not going to make as strong of an impression necessarily. They're kind of like more of a backdrop kind of person. So people with stronger expert sensing or they emphasize expert sensing like the ENFP, even though ENFPs are not strong at expert sensing, they might have a role function expert sensing. I'll talk more about that later. But types that have more of an expert sensing presence, they make more of an impression at first. And in that sense, um, it's an advantage for them, right? However, in the long run, the those who have stronger introvert intuition, they tend to survive the group. So the group gets into conflict. The introvert intuitives are the survivors because they navigate through the potential conflicts. So the thing about expert sensing is that expert sensing is just about doing and doing without that much reflection. As a result, a lot of types who are higher up at expert sensing than very strong introvert intuitive types, they tend to accidentally get into trouble and they accidentally get into conflicts with another because they just do something and then they do something that might like hurt or offend the other person. Whereas the introvert intuitive types tend to be more wary. And actually, you could say that the survivor tendency is stronger in the INFP compared to the INTJ and INFJ. Because INTJs and INFJ, they still have that inferior extrovert sensing function. So they value extrovert sensing. They don't really express a lot of it, but then there's a part of them that has extrovert sensing. And so actually, because in INFPs, they don't have extrovert sensing or our expert sensing is very weak, we actually tend to be more of the ultimate survivors in a group. So at the end, the INFP uh, survives. INFPs have a particular kind of introvert intuition called introvert intuition minus. And what this looks like is that the INFP actually hedges against potential uh, conflicts. So if an INFP senses when they get into a situation that there might be a potential conflict or the pressure might just uh, be high between people or the tension might be there, the INFP actually comes in prepared and are able to evade and uh, be able to mitigate that conflict. So a lot of INFPs could actually be very good mediators as a result due to the weakness in expert sensing. It's actually a strength as well because when people are in conflict and they are against each other, the INFP could be a very good mediator piece. They don't express that expert sensing and come out in conflict against everyone else. They're very good at being cautious and be aware and being prudent when it comes to these kind of situations. This is where the introvert intuiting nature of INFP could shine in terms of service to others. Hey guys, so that's what I have for expert sensing and also introvert intuition in the INFP. I do have more material comparing ENFPs with INFPs regards to expert sensing and also INTJs, INFJs, and INFPs, comparing them to INFPs regards to introvert intuition. 
but it's a lot of material. So I'm going to save that for another video or more than one video. So stay tuned for that.